Welcome to High Ground. My name is Tanner, and we're going to be doing predictions for playdate number eight, the penultimate playdate of NAL's third stage of the 2022 season. So let's go over day number seven really quickly. We had Parabellum versus Mirage, first game of the day. Mirage take it down seven to five, so they get the full three points. I wouldn't say either of these teams were playing to the best of their abilities. Some sloppy rounds on both sides. Mirage end up being the better team at the end, but Blaz continues to look incredible, dropping just a, a ton of frags once again on Villa. And then, uh, and I, I predicted that one correctly. Space Station defeat Beast Coast 7-0, the first 7-0 of the stage. And yeah, probably just a low point for Beast Coast. They've had some games that were kind of close. They at least have the one point from going to overtime against Astralis. But man, they get 7-0'd and Space Station returned to form on Clubhouse, Dubhouse indeed. Uh, I mean, what else is there to say? It was a 7-0 complete smackdown. Space Station seemed to be on the up and up and Beast Coast... Uh, well, nowhere to go but up. I, I predicted that one correctly as well. Exet versus Astralis. So I got this one wrong. I went with Exet, but Astralis end up winning the game. 7-3, uh, to three, pretty decisive game. They played each other on this map in the Charlotte Major, and I think it was the one map that Exet won. So a little bit of a turnaround there, and I guess in more ways than one, Exet was certainly the better team this stage going into the game. They were on like 11 points. Exet was on on seven, let me actually just look at the standings and confirm that. Yeah, this puts Astralis onto 10, Exet onto 11, uh, Dark Zero onto 11, so uh, pretty tight uh, right below the top four. It's going to be difficult to break into the top four. Exet, Dark Zero, Astralis, all two or three points below Space Station, who's a point below Mirage, who are a point below Sonics and TSM. Um, anyways, yeah, it did make thing, it, it does make things kind of dangerous going forward for Exet, and it gives Astralis a chance to make the top four, but uh, it's looking a bit dicey at the moment. We'll have to see how things go in play number eight. Um, Oxygen versus Sonic. So finally, Oxygen maybe get their get their groove. Uh, obviously, it's it's too late to go to the major. It's like it was locked in on on this play day that they'll not be able to go to the major. But I think this confirmed them for SI, or they're basically confirmed if they're not literally confirmed. So I mean, they have that to look forward to. They definitely looked a lot better here, taking down the top team in the league. And because of the results of this day, TSM now take the top spot back from back from Sonics. And yeah, I mean, they're probably they're just playing how people expected they'd be playing from the start and i guess with the role changes and everything they've they figured out how to operate with sweater instead of laxing but it is just the one game so we'll have to see if this continues going forward um yeah got that one wrong if i didn't say that and then finally dark zero versus tsm i went with tsm and uh, at first it looked like it was gonna be a dark zero game they went up 2-0 and yes yeah, only two rounds space or uh, rather tsm call a timeout and win like five rounds in a row and then they go back and forth a tiny bit but uh well i mean dark zero actually only gets one more round uh, oh no, excuse me, two more rounds. It's a 7-4 to four at the end of the game. And so, yeah, TSM look pretty good, and Dark Zero don't look terrible, but, uh, well, I mean, just outclassed by TSM anyways. So I got that one right. I got the, the first two games and the last one right. So another 3 out of 5. I think I've gotten 3 out of 5 in every single day except for one day. So maybe if I can get a 4 out of 5 I can on one of these last two days, I can get on a... And on a perfect 60%. Okay, let's go into day number eight predictions. Space Station versus Xset. So, I mean, Space Station, I'd say at this point, are the favorites. Xset has slipped up a bit too much, and Space Station coming hot off of a, well, just a 7 0 victory. And before that, a 7 2 destruction of Astralis. They look really, really good. And Beast Coast and Astralis, two of the weaker teams this stage. Uh, Astralis, no, no uh, pushovers, though, by any means, uh, even if Beast Coast maybe are. Yeah, I'm going to go Space Station there for, for numerous reasons. And uh, it's entirely possible Xset can win this game. And they, they pretty much need to. I'd say they, uh, being on how many points? 11 points. They probably just need to win their last two games. And maybe one of them can be overtime, maybe even both. But probably they just need regulation wins in their last two games. And so we'll see if they can do it against Space Station, but I'm going to predict Space Station. Oxygen versus Dark Zero. So Dark Zero, uh, same sort of boat as Exet. They're on 11 points, so they basically need to win both their games in the final two play days. And, well, wouldn't you notice it? Exet versus Dark Zero on the final day. So that might be for a major spot. Um, I think Dark Zero are going to play their hearts out. They're going to... I think they'll bounce back after their... Uh, is it back-to-back -back lot? Yeah, they lost to Mirage. They lost to TSM. Now they play against Oxygen, who are sort of on the come-up. And maybe got their mojo back, but again, I, I think Dark Zero just have a lot more to play for, and they'll be able to squeeze this one out. Sonics versus Astralis. Uh, well, this is sort of a rivalry that goes way back, and it used to be heavily in Sonics' favor. I can't remember off the top of my head how the recent ones have gone, uh, or I guess, I guess 
it was it was last stage that in the very the very first play day these two teams played and it go went 15 rounds call out subbing in if i remember right and uh, yeah astralis ended up winning it and i believe they won the stage before that too anyways uh going into this yeah astralis they they took the win over exit and a fairly decisive win sonic's coming off of a loss sonic's certainly have been the better team this stage though uh, I think I'm gonna give it to Sonics. Astralis have just been just too, been too shaky, a little bit too iffy. Uh, they're only on three and four. Sonics on five and two. It's still a pretty mighty scoreline. And Sonics, uh, they're probably going to the major, even if well, I mean, if they lose this game and the next game, it's a it's a little bit iffy. But they're they're like pretty close to lock locking in. And if they win this in regulation, I think they're like. I think they're literally locked in. I don't know that, like, 100% for sure. But, uh, yeah, Sonics definitely want to lock things in. Don't want to leave it to the last day to get their hearts broken by Mirage. So, yeah, I'm going to go Sonics there over, over Astralis. And then Parabellum versus TSM. Parabellum, um, I don't know. They just haven't looked like the, the best team and because if Blaz hadn't gone colossal in a couple of games, they would not have been as close as they were. They don't seem terrible, but uh, TSM just seemed like one of the best teams. They are currently the top team in the league. I guess I'll go with TSM on this one. And then finally, Beast Coast versus Mirage. The uh, uh, At different times, the two laughing stocks of the NAL, I guess along with Exet last year, but yeah, currently... Mirage certainly not a laughing stock, and Beast Coast, yeah, indeed, currently, obviously going to go with Mirage here. Can't pick Beast Coast whatsoever. That'd be foolish. Okay, so yeah, that's going to that's gonna be my picks, I suppose. So going down the line one more time, I have Space Station over Exet, Dark Zero over Oxygen, Sonics over Astralis, TSM over Parabellum, and Mirage over Beast Coast. Very, very brave picks, I know, picking the, the uh, favorite in every matchup, but what are you going to do? I mean, these feel fairly clear-cut, but I mean, I feel like any of them, except for the last one, could realistically go, both go could go both ways but i feel like again there's also like a, a relatively clear cut favorite in in all of them and okay so if you have your own predictions feel free to leave them in the comments below any other questions comments concerns suggestions corrections leave that below as well and a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated so with all that being said catch you guys in the next video